Yeah, so that won't work because we would need a metal former, which would need power, which needs we need to generate uh, industrial craft power before we can make the things to convert. Uh, an electrical engine converts EU to RF, but there isn't one that goes the other way, is there? There's just that converter which requires a bunch of steel, which we can't do yet. Oh, oh wow, middle of summer, huh? Even with the cooling coil, we're up to 20 temperature. Ouch, okay. Hmm, all right, that means we need to do uh, some industrial craft power. Which shouldn't be too bad. We can do something like a, just a generator. Battery, iron plates, and an iron furnace. Or a basic machine casing and an iron furnace. RE battery, tin casing, insulated tin cable. Uh, we can do that. That's not too bad. We might use these wire connectors since we've already got some of them ready. Actually, we shouldn't need to. We'll just put them next to each other. Yeah, we could try a geothermal, but that's probably... Oh, that's like an upgrade from a generator, so... Solar panel... Same thing, just more expensive. They all seem to build from a generator, so if we just make a generator to start with... I'm wondering, do we still need a wrench from this mod? Uh, where is the... Wrench? Ugh, a bunch of bronze. Maybe the crescent hammer will work. I hope the crescent hammer will work. All right, let's make this then. So a furnace, a bunch of tin item cases, an insulated cable, which is rubber and a tin cable. We can do that. It is very hot in here, so we are definitely not leaving this room for the moment. Uh, where did I put my resin? So we'll need one of them to make this generator. Just to make that cable, to make that we need cutters with uh, so these cutters, which are iron plates and iron ingots. Is that right? We can't use the other... So you can use either hammer for that. But you have to use cutters for that. Okay. Uh, so where do I put my iron? I put it in here. Uh, we need a little bit of tin, which we probably don't... Oops, sorry about that. It's my alarm going off. Um, yeah, we don't have any tin lying around, do we? In bar. Steel, no. Alright, so we better get a little bit of this cooking up. Go, get a little bit of extra copper as well. Right, so if we get our engineer's hammer, uh, we can hammer up some iron plates and make these cutters. That, then we can get. Uh, were those iron casings or tin casing? Tin casing and tin wire, okay. Uh, that's right, we got root for our furnaces. Uh, this is a little annoying, but I want to get our um, our first setup done today. Oh, we can't actually cook these in here. Oh, that is really annoying. And actually, <laughs> I just realized the the foolishness of saying we'll put our main workroom outside. It's going to have to be an enclosed room so that we can put a cooling coil in it in order to survive the middle of the day. Uh, which is fine, but we're just going to build something a bit bigger than this spaceship because this is getting a little ridiculous now. Uh, we have been here, I think this recording is going to include episode 40, if this isn't actually episode 40 itself, so we've done 40 episodes and we still haven't gotten out of the spaceship yet which is a little bit ridiculous. Alright, I'm doing two furnaces just because it turns out we do actually need one occasionally. I think I've got a little bit of extra tiny charcoal. Just get a little bit more. 
just to make sure we got plenty in there. Wow, that made more than I thought. That's right, we'll put a stack in there. Cook that up. Uh, we can make these tin casings. So I think it's just hammering tin plates and you get two each. Yeah. So there's our item casing. Uh, we need another tin plate with the cutters to make tin cable. Oh, it got an achievement. Uh, we get our one rubber. And knowing my luck, this is going to result in... Oh! Oh, you turn one of them into a tin wire coil. 32 EU a tick. Oh, very good. Okay, we might use that for our power then. So are these the ones that you place? Oh, they are too. Can I pick them up? I can, but they are a pain. Interesting. So I think these ones will actually hurt you when they have power running through them and you step on them. Or at least the copper ones used to. I don't know if they still do. Uh, but I wonder if they hurt you when you use the uh, the immersive engineering version. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Alright, there's our battery. And then we need... Uh, I think it was eight plates to make a machine casing with a furnace and a battery gets us the generator. Okay, so that gets us that. Then we also need the compressor. So where were you? Can I see it in here? Am I going to have to search for it? There it is, compressor. Uh, so smooth stone machine casing. And these are copper wires and iron plate. Okay, so I think it was what, two plates. Nope, three plates. Bugger. Interesting, so that makes less than the tin does. Tin gets you three wires. Uh, we also need to do another six resin. Uh, there we go, to cover that up. Um, also, let's put this down. Let's see, it's going to be pretty self contained for the moment. Let's put it here. We can put the compressor beside it, and on the off chance we have another couple of machines we need, we can put them on the other two sides. And that should get around needing to run cabling to them for the moment. And Oh, actually, let's also test can we pick them up with the crescent hammer? Nope, effective tool pickaxe. Interesting. I know there's some industrial craft machines used to break if you pick them up with a pickaxe. Like you would get the machine casing back and you would lose all the other parts of it. So I've, I've never I've never been a fan of using industrial craft um, because of that, basically. I, I, I mean, I used to always use it when back when you played like Tekkit and stuff, like Minecraft. So like beta 125 but that was because there weren't any other decent power mods and then we got thermal expansion and ender io and all these other cool things where you could just just smash everything and it was fine you didn't lose your solar panels when you broke them and stuff like that uh, sorry i was on a bit of a rant there um all right get this rubber we can make uh these do three of them. Interesting, we can make them in the wire coils as well. Wait, is that the normal copper wire coil? No, that's actually an industrial craft one. Cool. That is kind of interesting. Um, What am I looking for? Redstone. Two redstone and an iron. No, did I get that wrong? There's the compressor. Oh, an iron plate. Sure. Iron plate. There we go, electronic circuit. So it's a circuit, a basic machine casing. So that's another eight plates. It's machine casing, circuit, and some smooth stone. 
six smooth stone. Circuit and machine casing compressor. All right, there we go. And just to check, is a compressor different to an extractor? Electric furnace, iron furnace, macerator, recycler, blast furnace, miner. Hmm. I think they are different, aren't they? I just can't see it in here. Because the extractor is what we use to get more. Yeah. So the extractor is what we use to get more rubber per resin. But that's different to the compressor. So we might actually make one of those as well, just so that we can get a bit more efficiency out of our couple of rubber trees that we have at the moment. And it is getting cold again. It's fine. I don't think we're dropping below four because we're in summer, so I think we're fine. I'm just going to turn that off just in case. I've almost died to hypothermia a couple of times and I don't want to do that. In fact, I think I did die to it the first time it happened. And I'm pretty sure when you hit three temperature, you start taking damage. Maybe two. Uh, Alright, so five blaze powder a pop, I think it is. Uh, let's throw tiny charcoal in this. So... Put the, that is the generator. Wait. Compressor. Excellent, it does burn them. Well, let's just put like half the stack in there. Because it's got a little bit of an energy store that's actually filling up pretty quick. Let's put less than that much in there. Perfect, alright. That's good, and then we can also use that to get our... Um, our first potion stands so that we can make fire resist potions which we actually have don't we I am well hold on is heat resistance different to fire resistance so there's fire resistance potions from minecraft and there's heat resistance potions cold resistance Heat resistance. Potion of relapse. Right, so heat resistance is different to fire resistance. Interesting, I could have ended up getting into some trouble if I tried to use that against... Uh, against the blazers. Alright, that's done. So now we can make a heating coil. Uh, which was there go there it is all right just those on top of cobblestone which we have so those six blaze rods heating coil uh, we'll also make a lever for it all right and grab a bunch more cobblestone so I'm still doing cobblestone buildings for the moment but um, yeah just just deal with that. Uh, let's see, can I turn rice into dirt? I don't think so. Could do it with cactus though. Uh, let's see, can I... Hmm. No, because it takes it out of there. Interesting, we're actually nearly full on wood. Oops. Um, yeah, that's that's fine. We'll we'll get a little bit more dirt out of there as well, which one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll actually be enough if we take that dirt. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's encase this in stone. I think we can do windows on the side, we just can't do windows... Oh, we just can't do a glass ceiling, uh, from what I discovered. I'm going to have to make sure I relight this as well. Uh, so this will be a nice little greenhouse. So um, uh, I'll get this built and I'll be back.
Alright guys, I think I'm just about done here. Uh, so, I made some chiseled uh, glass, stone framed glass, just to make it a little bit clearer than regular glass to get that um, connected texture. Uh, I also extended it out by one on this side, uh, just so that we have a bit of space to get down here, and we'll um, we'll set up the uh, that farm. We'll set up in this corner, and we'll probably end up setting it up so that we have a couple of automated farms in these corners, like around the edges, and maybe just regular stuff in the middle. I'm not sure. At least until we can replace it with maybe. Um, Actually, is Mine Factory in this? What do we have in the way of farms? Not much. And actually, Additions Farmer, the Farming Station, Forestry Farms, or these Wooden Farms. Growth Crystals. Yeah, so we don't actually have many options, but that's okay. Uh, so what I'll see if I can do here is if we do... Does the heating coil give off light when it's turned on? It appears it does not, or at least not enough. Uh, so what if we do torches around the room like that? That's fine, that lights it all up anyway. Uh, and down here, let's do a torch there. Actually, no, it'll be here and here, because this is the. Uh, that's the water source, so that's the middle of the room. But yeah, that'll be good. Uh, we can clear that out further when we need to. There's not really a point doing it right now. Uh, so now, if we drop a door on here, that coil should start working. And we should get a climatization plus 10, yeah. So if we leave, you can see on the side you've got climatization plus 10, and it's gone. Go back in, and it's back. So now it's quite hot in here. So we're going to have to be pretty careful when we go in there. Uh, yeah, because even... We could look at turning off the coil when we're in there working, but I think even as soon as you turn it off, crops can start dying. So that's not ideal. We just have to get cool enough to um, for that to not be an issue and then go in there. Uh, but what we can do is pick up this farm. And have a think about how we're going to get power to this guy. Oh crap. Uh, I've got too much junk in my inventory. Okay, let's uh, let's quickly wait for that temperature to drop by one. There we go. Uh, so I want to put some uh, just bits and pieces on this wall here. I'll do that there. Actually, let's put down this as well. Like that. I have a pressure plate as well for there. And I need to pick all this stuff up before it despawns. Uh, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. There's still more stuff I want to pick up. Fine, I'll come back for those. Oh! Huh, I didn't know we had a dark spot in here. Oop, and now we don't. Interesting. Maybe that was bugged. It's a bit strange. Um, Alright, so we need to get some of this stuff put away. Uh, arrows go in there. Rice goes in here. Uh, cables and stuff do not go in that one. Uh, glass can go in there though. Uh, let's see, the wire cutters, and actually, we need that hoe, but we don't need those tools. Uh, rice seeds can go in here, we don't need them anymore. 
probably don't need this tin cable. I probably don't need that sand either. Actually, all those couple of metals. Get those away. Just for the moment. Okay. So we also want to pick up this guy. Good, and give me back all this stone because what we will do is let's just drop a torch there, break these couple of guys, and just fill this in. There, that's fine. All right. Now, we also need to get power into this building. Oh, actually, before I forget, let's... Let's drop some torches around here just to make sure this is all lit up. I'm guessing that's not going to be enough, is it? No. There, that's fine. And put, put one there. All right, that'll do. And it's all half slabs on top, so we know that'll be... Uh, fine, yeah. Alright, good. Let's turn that off for the moment, because we don't need that overheating us until we actually get some crops planted. And drop some cobblestone there. That's pretty good. So we can grab these hoes and just start... Oh, damn. Damn. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to cobblestone these as well, because that'll annoy me otherwise. 